Secrets of Forest Magic, The Path to Unleashing Potential First Series, The Call of the Mysterious Forest In a world where reality intertwines with magic, where good and friendship are worth their weight in gold, our journey begins. At dawn, the rays of the rising sun lit up Lena's room with warm golden light. Stretching after sleep, the girl felt that today would be special. For about a month now, Lena had been having strange dreams about a mysterious forest and enigmatic symbols on the trees. She could hear the soft whispers of the forest, feel the magic around her. These dreams seemed so real that they stayed on her mind. Lena went to the window and gazed into the distance, where the outlines of green hills and groves beyond the city were barely visible in the morning mist. Somewhere out there, beyond them, was the magical enchanted forest from her dreams, beckoning and calling to her. In today's dream, Lena was walking along a forest path, surrounded on all sides by tall, slender trees. Sunlight filtered through the lush treetops, casting whimsical shadows. The air was lightly scented with flowers and herbs. Suddenly the path led Lena into a small glade flooded with bright light. She saw a huge exotic tree with a rough silvery trunk and a crown of crimson leaves. On the tree was a large shimmering spiral symbol. Lena approached and touched it with her hand. At that moment she felt rhythmic pulses emanating from the tree, reminiscent of a heartbeat. These pulses penetrated deep within, making her own heart beat in unison. Lena felt a connection with the strange tree, as if their life rhythms had merged into one. She sensed that this tree was alive, breathing and pulsating with the energy of the ancient forest. Closing her eyes, Lena surrendered to this unity, dissolving into the shimmering light of the spiral symbol. It seemed that time itself had slowed its pace, and Lena floated in a stream of warmth and light emanating from the magical tree. She was as if part of the forest stream, feeling each gust of wind and rustle of leaves as her own breath. But the pulsation subsided, and the dream slowly dissolved, returning Lena to the real world. However, the sense of connection with the forest remained even after waking up. This place felt familiar, as if Lena had already been there before. Today the girl again keenly felt that the forest was waiting for her arrival, and something truly extraordinary was about to happen soon, changing her world. Can my dreams be prophetic? Lena murmured. What if that magical forest is real, and I'm meant to find it? Her heart quickened with excitement. Lena had always believed in the magic and mysteries of this world. And this morning she firmly decided to go in search of the forest from her dreams. At the same time, on the other side of town, Max was also preparing for an amazing adventure that would change his life. Quite recently, Max had found an ancient book in an abandoned library in the city. This book was a real treasure, containing amazing stories and mysterious symbols. Its cover was made of darkened leather, on which a geometric spiral pattern glowed blue. Bluish lines intertwined into a mesmerizing drawing that seemed to pulse and sparkle against the dark leather. The pages were full of vivid illustrations of magical plants and artifacts, as well as complex symbols of unknown origin. The book seemed to contain secret knowledge and the beckoning magic of the forest it spoke of. He was sure that the author of the book had grasped many mysteries of this world that others were unaware of. Max decided to show his find to Tim. Tim was Max's best friend and a real technical genius. Max knew, if anyone could help uncover the mysteries of the magical forest, it was Tim. He came to his workshop, where Tim was tinkering with another invention. Tim, you won't believe it, exclaimed Max, showing the book to Tim. I found an amazing book that tells about an ancient forest near our town. Allegedly, there are many secrets and magical artifacts hidden there. We must find that forest and uncover its magical secrets. Tim carefully took the book and became interested in studying the pages, exploring the strange symbols and maps, as well as the amazing stories that filled this book. Wow, there are indeed a lot of curious and mysterious things here, exclaimed Tim. Look at these symbols and maps of the forest. It seems the author really was in that place and knows about it what others don't know. I also want to see this forest with my own eyes and comprehend its mysteries. I knew you'd agree. Max rejoiced. The friends delved into a detailed study of the mysterious forest maps on the ancient pages. 
Tim peered closely at the strange symbols in the ancient book. These signs clearly contain important information, he murmured thoughtfully. If only I could understand what they mean. And then he got an idea, Eureka, exclaimed Tim, I figured out how we can understand the meaning of these strange signs faster. We will create special decryption glasses that will analyze the symbols and reveal their hidden meaning. This will help uncover the author's secret message in the book and better prepare for the search for the forest. That's brilliant. Max rejoiced. I'm sure with your skills you'll create these glasses in no time. Inspired by the idea, the friends energetically set about creating the decryption glasses. Tim carefully devised their design and functions. By connecting lenses, wires and electronic components, he assembled an ideal base for the future device. Then he added a microcomputer and sensors to analyze what is seen. In the evenings, Tim programmed the artificial intelligence so that the glasses could understand the symbols. After weeks of painstaking work, the ingenious invention was ready. Voila! Let me introduce you to the Essence Vision glasses, said Tim, handing Max a futuristic device. They will decrypt the symbols from the book and help find the ancient magical forest. Amazing! I'm sure these glasses are the key to unraveling all the mysteries. Max marveled. Now, armed with the book, map and fantastic invention, the friends were ready for amazing discoveries. They had just finished packing for the trip when a ringing voice sounded at the workshop doors. Wait. I want to come with you too, it was Max's little sister Mia. She stood with a resolute gaze, a backpack on her shoulders, Mia, you can't. It could be dangerous. Max objected. Oh please. Mia pleaded, folding her palms. I promise to obey and not interfere. Let this be our common adventure. Max was about to refuse his little sister, but Tim interrupted him. Let her come with us. What if her abilities come in handy? Or do we not trust your little sister, Max? All right then, he agreed. But listen to us and be careful, Mia. Hooray. Thank you. The girl happily jumped up and down. The three friends left the workshop and headed for the forest. They walked for a long time, checking against the detailed maps in the book. The deeper they wandered into the forest, the more mysterious and enigmatic it became. It seems we are going the right way, said Max, peering into the mist swirling ahead. These places are very similar to the descriptions in the book. The path twisted between mighty oaks and aspens, losing itself in ferns. Here and there, sunlight pierced through the dense foliage, illuminating the way. The book contained stories about rare forest flowers with magical properties. These flowers possessed an amazing, truly magical power, their pollen glowed with a mysterious inner light, pointing the way to the most hidden and unknown corners of the forest. Only one whose heart harbored a dream of discovery and had a spark of magic could discern these shy flowers among the ferns and mosses. And only caring hands, driven by kindness, could gently pluck these fragile magical flowers to share their light with travelers. Peering closely at the green forest thickets, young Mir noticed a barely perceptible glimmer of delicate petals hiding in the shadows of the trees. Carefully plucking a few flowers, the girl put them in her pocket to preserve their fragile magic. The friends carefully checked the instructions in the book so as not to lose their direction. Suddenly ahead loomed a huge grey boulder covered with a thick carpet of velvety moss. It looks like we're going the right way, Max rejoiced, examining this moss-covered boulder in the morning mist. The friends immediately recognized this stone giant from the book's description. This boulder was the size of a small house and had a whimsical shape. The stone seemed to have protruded from the ground and was covered in moss. The cracks in it formed an intricate pattern resembling an ancient map drawing. The guys were amazed to realize that this was the very map that was drawn in their guidebook. All this time in the forest, they had oriented themselves precisely by it. The friends checked their route against the landmarks and trails outlined on the pages. Of course, over time, some of the trails in the forest had changed, some were overgrown and became denser, others disappeared but the main landmarks remained unchanged. And so, following the instructions of the book, the travelers walked the right path through the tangled forest, pushing through the intertwining of roots and ferns, 
the guys suddenly saw an unusual sight before them. In a small forest glade flooded with sunlight grew a ring of red fly agarics, their caps arranged in a perfect spiral, as if in a mysterious dance. It seemed some secret force had made these mushrooms grow in just such a whimsical pattern, repeating the ancient magical sign. The guys excitedly recognized this swirl, the same spiral pattern adorned the cover of their magical book. Amazing, Mia exclaimed. I wonder why the mushrooms grew in just such a pattern? It looks like there is some special energy flowing in the ground here, Tim suggested. Like an underground stream. And the mushrooms grew following its flow, forming this spiral. According to the descriptions on the battered pages, there was an ancient energy vortex here, the friends felt the hair on their arms stand on end from the invisible energy of this place. The fly agaric caps shone in the sun with bright red drops. It seemed as if the mushrooms themselves pulsated with the mysterious power of the ancient vortex. All these signs and landmarks led them deeper into the forest, bringing them closer to the coveted goal, the mysterious magical forest, whose secrets the friends wanted to comprehend. But soon the paths became increasingly difficult to discern among the dense thickets. It seems we are quite lost, Max said worriedly, looking around at unfamiliar places. What should we do? How do we find the right way now? Tim asked, in confusion. Mia took out the precious petals she had collected along the way like a treasure. She carefully rubbed them in her palms, turning the petals into glowing pollen. The girl sprinkled this magical dust on the path ahead and suddenly it began to shimmer with bright blue light, forming a fanciful pattern of intertwined stems and leaves on the ground. This glowing pattern stretched further along the path, pointing the right way through the impenetrable thicket. Hooray, now we are going the right way again. Max rejoiced. So the friends found the right path again, which led deeper and deeper into the forest. We need to head northeast from here, Tim determined by his compass, according to the book, somewhere in that direction should be the tree we are looking for. The guys walked further into the forest, trying to go exactly northeast. Suddenly, someone's voice was heard nearby. He sang an incredibly beautiful melody, to which the branches of the trees swayed as if on cue. Do you hear? Mia whispered. Someone singing. Let's go see. The guys carefully made their way through the bushes to a small glade from which the singing emanated. There stood a girl with long auburn hair, singing. Colored sparks swirled around her, and it seemed as if she herself radiated light. Amazing! Was all Tim could utter, admiring this mesmerizing spectacle. Looks like we're not the only ones looking for this forest, Max said softly. When the girl finished her song and turned around, the friends saw her big emerald green eyes and kind smile. Oh, hello. My name is Lena the girl said joyfully. What are you doing here? I'm Max, this is my sister Mia and friend Tim, Max introduced the guys. We are looking for a special magical forest. Mia explained. How did you end up here? You see. I've been dreaming about this forest for a long time, Lena began thoughtfully. I feel I have to find it, there is something important here for me. Max told Lena about the ancient book and the mysteries they hoped to uncover about their interesting journey. The girl listened to his story with delight. From the first minutes of communication, some invisible connection arose between the guys. It seemed as if they had known each other for many years already. In their hearts was a sense of true strong friendship that would outlast years and distances. Amazing, Mia exclaimed. So we're all here for a reason. You're right. Max nodded. Let's unite. It will be more fun and interesting to unravel the forest's secrets together. From that moment on, Lena joined the friends. This magical forest had brought them together for a reason, and together they were to uncover its amazing secrets. Chatting merrily, the guys moved deeper into the forest, peering at each tree so as not to miss the coveted landmark. The friends constantly checked the maps and descriptions in the book so as not to stray from the route. Look! This stone that looks like an owl should be around here somewhere, Lena said, pointing to the drawing in the book. The friends looked around carefully. And indeed, a few meters away they noticed a stone with a distinct owl silhouette. So we are still on the right track, Tim rejoiced. 
This is exactly like the book. After some time, the path led the travelers to a deep ravine, across which was an old suspension bridge. According to the descriptions in their ancient book, this used to be a new and sturdy bridge that people calmly crossed the ravine on. But apparently many long years had passed since a wondrous foot had trodden it. Now its rickety boards creaked, and the rusty ropes did not inspire confidence. But it was mentioned in the pages of the book. Aha, there's that bridge. Max rejoiced. So we are still on the right track, their hearts lurched, looking down from the cliff at the raging river flow deep in the ravine. But there was no other way, they had to cross this bridge to get closer to the goal. Trying to tread carefully, holding on to the shaky handrails, the guys moved slowly forward. The boards creaked plaintively under their feet, and the old ropes tensed. It seemed that in a moment the bridge would not withstand it. But behold, stepping onto solid ground on the other side of the ravine, the friends breathed a sigh of relief. Their journey continued, bringing them closer to the secret gates to the ancient magical forest. Pushing further through the thickets, they came to a small glade flooded with sunlight. Well, we're here. The oak should be growing somewhere around here, Max said, peering at the trees. Splitting up in different directions, the friends began carefully examining each tree around the glade. I found it. Look. Came Mia's excited voice, the guys ran up to her. Before them stood a huge, sprawling oak with a thick trunk reaching high into the sky. On its rough bark was a carved spiral symbol that shimmered with a golden light, shining as if alive. This is definitely it, Max exclaimed. The sign is the same as on the cover of the book. Lena peered closely at the symbol on the tree. Suddenly she gasped and her eyes widened in recognition of the drawing. This is the same tree from my dream. Incredible. So it really was a prophetic dream, Lena exclaimed excitedly. Tim took his glasses-shaped invention out of his backpack. These are special glasses for analyzing symbols, he explained to Lena. With their help I can decipher the meaning of the signs. Putting on his glasses, Tim carefully examined the sign on the oak. This is an ancient symbol of development and moving forward, he said. See these lines coiled into a spiral? Each bend of the spiral symbolizes a stage of the path to comprehending the profound wisdom and harmony of life hidden at the very heart of the universe. This symbol is like a mysterious labyrinth leading to ancient knowledge, to the core of the ancient forest. Friends, this symbol is an invitation to follow the path to the magical center of the forest, Tim concluded. It's a call to adventure and discovery. If we dare to take this path, we will attain great mysteries, it will lead us to unimagined wonders and magic. Enchanted, Lena felt drawn to touch the symbol. The spiral seemed to beckon her, radiating an invisible attraction. Her palm approached the rough bark of the oak, on which the glowing pattern rippled. Lena felt the warmth emanating from the symbol, it was physical, tangible. Finally, her fingertips touched the winding lines carved into the tree trunk. The warm pulsation of the spiral reverberated in her own hand, and Lena felt a thrill of excitement. It seemed she had come into contact with a living being, comprehending its language of mysterious symbols. At that moment, Lena felt a deep connection with the strange tree and the ancient magic of the forest that awaited them ahead. It's warm, Lena said in surprise. At that moment, the ground beneath their feet trembled. Sparks ran down the oak trunk like spring streams, illuminating the bark with a shimmering pattern. The air was filled with the exciting sensation of magic, from which the guy's skin crawled in anticipation of a miracle. It seemed the earth itself had responded to Lena's touch of the tree, awakening the ancient magic of the forest. Between two trees appeared a strange shimmering mist that rippled with all the colors of the rainbow, sparkling like a scattering of precious gems. It looked like a shining portal into another world, where the air was filled with the magic of the forest. The friends felt enveloped in the warm breeze of the forest wind, carrying the scents of flowers. The air was filled with magic that made everything inside quiver. The portal seemed to beckon them, promising wonders on the other side. And Lena recognized this feeling, the same unity with the forest she had felt in her dream. But now the magic was real. It's a portal. 
We found the entrance to the ancient forest, Mia exclaimed, clapping her hands joyfully. The friends looked at each other excitedly. Well, are you ready? Max asked. Of course. Lena, Mia and Tim answered in unison. Clasping each other's hands tightly, the four of them stepped through the shimmering portal. As soon as they set foot into the glowing cloud of light, they felt enveloped in a sense of warmth and a light breeze. For a moment it seemed they dissolved into this radiance, as if floating in the air. And the next moment the friends had already stepped onto the soft moss on the other side of the portal. The trees here were of gigantic size, their mighty trunks seemed to prop up the very sky. The foliage shimmered in all shades of silver and green, sparkling in the sunlight. The air was extraordinarily fresh and sweet, infused with the fragrance of flowers. A stream babbled somewhere nearby. Birds were singing them a greeting song in unfamiliar voices, and butterflies fluttered over the delicate flowers that had blossomed in the glade. And all around reigned the special tranquil atmosphere of this magical place. To be continued. Be happy, radiate kindness, and smile a lot. Like this video and share it with your friends. More amazing discoveries in the next series.